Hello! Thank you for tuning in to Yoga today. Let's begin standing. Feet more or less together. Tendency is to want to keep the feet wide. Really try to get the legs as close together as you comfortably can. Palms forward. Shoulders down your back. Breathe. And notice your balance here. Notice how you feel. I invite you to close your eyes. About 30 seconds here. If you do close your eyes, you'll notice your balance sways. If they're not already, open your eyes. And inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, arms simply down by your sides. And again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Arms high. And easy down. Left hand to your hip. Right arm up and overhead. Tilt the shoulders to your left. And side stretch. Be careful of balance here. Your legs may still be together. Stare a soft gaze up. Turn your chin up. Breathe in. And as you're ready, exhale. Arm down. Up. Other side. Right hand to hip. Left arm sweeps up and overhead. Tilt the shoulders to the right. Head to the right. Gaze up. Chin and nose turn up. Continue to breathe. Breathe in. As you exhale, arm down. Posture tall. Very nice. Open your feet just a little. Moon salutation. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale hands to your knees. Take a break here. Inhale. Exhale elbows to knees or even lower than that. You might let the arms dangle. Inhale halfway. Hands to knees and lift your spine about halfway up. Look forward and exhale again. Elbows to knees or lower as you like. Inhale to flat back and all the way up to standing. Sweep your arms overhead. And exhale, easy arms. By your side. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to knees. Take a pause and inhale here. Exhale, go lower. Elbows to knees or arms dangling. Relax your neck either way. Inhale, half lift. Hands to knees. Rise about halfway up. Exhale, fold. Again, hands to knees, inhale, rise, this time all the way high. Once the arms are up, exhale, arms down. Last one, inhale, arms circle high. Exhale, hands towards knees. Take a pause here, inhale, tone your tummy. As you exhale, go lower, relax your neck, but keep your tummy engaged. Hands to knees, inhale, half lift. Fold again as you exhale, hang as low as you like. Inhale, flat back and higher, rise all the way up. 
Exhale simply. Press the arms by your side. Very nice. Now, bend the knees a little bit. Keep your posture plumb. Shoulders rolling back a few times. Good. Now with the knees a little bit bent, inhale your arms to shoulder height. Exhale, pull your arms back, hands back towards your torso. And then push your hands down as you do straighten the legs. Inhale, arms to shoulder height, not higher, as you do bend the knees. Keep the knees bent as exhale, hands pull back, and then exhaling still, straighten the legs as your hands press down. Three more of these. Inhale, bend the knees, arms rise. Keep the knees bent, exhale, pull hands back, and push down, straighten the legs. Inhale, bend knees. And the exhale twice as long as the inhale. Legs straight in the last one. Bend the knees. Exhale, hands pull back. Exhaling, hands push down. Straighten legs. Good work. Open feet. About as wide as the shoulders. Bring your spine on top of the left foot. Notice, can you get taller here? Shoulders down the back. Right heels lifted, just the toes on the ground. Tilt your spine in line with the right leg. Can you see that difference? No longer on top of the left leg. Spine in line with the right leg. And if it's comfortable, pull those toes back. Tease and balance. You might keep something close by. Chair to hold on to, perhaps. Rest. Feet about a shoulder distance apart. Lift that left heel to get your spine tall on top of your right leg. Can you get taller? Tilt the spine in line with left leg. And see if you can lighten your toes, the left toes off the floor. Exhale, rest, down. Open the feet even wider. Parallel feet, take your hands to your knees. Look down at the feet, make sure they are parallel. And then can you go lower, elbows to knees. Wide leg forward fold here. Keep the elbows on the knees or thighs, just above the knees, as you relax your neck. If you know it will be comfortable, you're welcome to dangle the arms. Wide leg forward fold, a few more breaths here. And you don't have to release the back of your neck, or drop your head, but I encourage you to. If they're not already, bring your elbows to your knees and then your hands to your knees. Right toes, turn them out to the right. Left heel, walk it a little more leftward. Can you straighten your left leg? Release your hand from the knee. Right hand still on right knee. Look down at your right foot, make sure it's pointing due right. Knee on top of ankle hand the top knee. That arm strength and length is helping you to keep the shoulders up. Can you find your spine in line with the back leg? Good. Now gently straighten the right leg, triangle. Can you rest your fingers to your shin below the knee? If not, above the knee is fine. Left arm up, if you dare. This is triangle. Let's come back to the shape we were just in. Side angle. Bend the knee. Rest the left arm down. Right arm supports the weight of your shoulders and head here. Level the hips and shoulders. Lift your arms up to a T. Warrior two, the name of this shape. Gaze over your right hand. And spread your fingers and toes. Dig in with the outside edges of your feet. That will tone your legs some more better. Left hand to hip like so. 
right arm overhead. It's side stretch again. Reach your right arm overhead. And gaze up, chin, nose, point up. Warrior two. Arms to the T. Lean forward. Side angle. Hand to knee. Hand to hip. Parallel your feet. Maybe walk them in a little bit closer as that left foot walks in. Hands to knees. Good. Breathe in here. Exhale. Try elbows to knees. Release the back of your neck as you comfortably can. Hands to knees. Push yourself about halfway up. Nice. Now, left toes turn to the left. Walk your right foot out to the right. Heel a little further back than toes, notice please. Nice, let's take right hand to hip. Take a look down at the left toes. Make sure that they're pointing due left, mine are not. I'll adjust for you, thank you. A strong left arm can lift your torso longer, stronger and higher. You want your spine in line with your right leg. Knee, left knee on top of ankle. Until now. Straighten your left knee for triangle. Left hand below the knee if you can. Rest your fingers to your shin. The right arm may reach up. You can keep your hand on your hip though. Bend the knee. Rise. Warrior two. Hips level, shoulders level, arms reach away. Gaze over the left hand. And remember, spread the fingers and spread the toes. Dig in with the outside edges of your feet. Your arches should lift. Pull your tummy in a little bit too. Reverse warrior. Let's take right hand to hip and lean over that right hand. Left arm overhead, gaze up. What does your elbow point at? You might have a look. Good, through the warrior two. Lean forward, side angle. Very nice. Hands to knees, parallel the feet. Inhale a nice long spine. You might walk your right foot in a little bit. Exhale, rest. Elbows down, or perhaps even lower. Arms may dangle. Take both hands towards the right leg. High or low does not matter. Above or below the knee. Rest your hands someplace comfortably. Carefully, shift over to the other side, higher or lower. Try to relax your neck. If it makes you dizzy, don't. Always be kind to yourself. Let's return hands to bent knees. Just a little bit of bend in the knees. Walk your feet together. I'll give you the side view for this one. Feet ideally touching, knees more or less touching too. Spine nice and long, supported by the arms length. Try to lift your heels, be careful. How high can you lift the heels? Be careful. And it's okay if it's just a little lift or None at all. Rest the heels back down, and then send the seat a little bit lower. Reach your arms on a diagonal away from the seat. This is chair pose. It's like you're sitting down into a chair that's not there. Swing your arms a few times. One, inhale up. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Exhale back with the arms. Inhale up. Couple more. Last one, inhale, rise, and then cactus arms. Elbows bend to a 90 degree at your side. Take your hands, forearms and all, back. Elbows stay put, lift your chest and chin. 
little back bend here. Bring your forearms upright, level the chest and chin, and rest, arms by your side. Good work. That was the standing portion of class. Let's come down to the ground. Take your time. I'd like to take the knee to the floor first. That requires that you tuck your toes under back there. Again, working your way down to the ground for our seated exercises. And then we'll find our lying on back exercises. That's my favorite part. Legs crisscrossed might not feel good. You can always open the legs up wider if you need to. Change the leg that's in front before I tell you to. Feel good as best you can. Place the legs somewhere good. And then we want to sit up tall, having a block or a cushion underneath of your seat, something to sit on and lift yourself up makes your knees and hips more comfortable. I'm gonna place a block under my seat. And you can always use two blocks under there, one for each cheek and one for each sit bone. I have one block under there, the long way. And it's really not quite big enough for my seat. And I don't have the biggest seat. Comfortable as best you can. Settle into gravity's pull. Defy gravity with your posture and breath. Elbows heavy under the shoulders. Arms heavy. Backs of hands resting against your legs, if you don't mind. Notice the weight of your legs resting against the floor. And the weight of your torso floating ever taller. Abdominals engage just a little bit. If they're not already, slowly open your eyes. Inhale your arms overhead so that your palms touch. And then bring your arms back down. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Just halfway up, half the breath, half the movement. Exhale down. Again, a half Z. Exhale down. Two more full breaths, full arm circles. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms high. Three tosses quicker than you might like. Right arm overhead, left hand takes a little weight, elbow bends in. Push with the left arm, cartwheel across the top. Right arm receives weight, push to cartwheel. I told you it was faster than you'd like. Other side, light and easy. No stress, no strain. Upright, breathe in, quicker than you want, twist to the right, look back, twist to your left, breathe in, look back, exhale, twist, inhale, look back, exhale, twist to the other side, inhale, look back, exhale, twist, inhale, turn the face, 
Exhale, twist. That's the last time. Breathe in. Exhale, let go. Woo. We did good. Other leg in front. If you haven't already. Flesh out from underneath of the seat as best you can. Float here. Another 10 seconds or so. Welcome to close the eyes. Inhale, circle the arms. Up. Exhale down. Just halfway up. The next one. Halfsy. Exhale down. And inhale all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, posture. Exhale, twist to your right and stay there. Use your hands to support the twist. Right hands behind you, left hands to right leg. Shoulders level, longer spine. Finish by turning the face around back. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, other side. Twist. Shoulders level, posture tall. Turn your face, roar back. center. Good. Legs wide. Wide leg forward fold again, just like we did standing, but on the seat. Please be good to your knees. No stress or strain there. A little bend in the knees might be appropriate. Again, propped up on a cushion or a block of some sort. A couple telephone books wouldn't hurt. Rest your elbows to your thighs. Again, knees more or less bent as you see fit. Hands to the floor. Some of you might even get elbows to the ground. Careful of slouching though. Keep your spine long. Yet, surrender. Another 30 seconds or so. strength to help you rise. Roll up your spine.
close just your right leg in. Allow posture to settle, your seat balanced. Pelvis stays put, turn just the ribs and aim your heart towards your left knee. If you can, pull the right toes back, rest your hands anywhere that's comfortable, above or below the knee. Avoiding resting the hands directly to the knee. something even if not you might pull flesh out from underneath of the seat to make yourself more comfortable turn your heart towards the right leg and then rest your hands somewhere on the right leg and somewhere above or below the knee and then surrender aiming your heart and your head towards the knee natural tendencies to the, go forward with the heart and the head try to aim the heart and the head towards the knee be kind Mindful of a long spine, even as you surrender. Tone the tummy. It helps relax the back. Hands to the floor. Use your arms to help you roll up your spine. Good. Heart facing forward. Bring your right knee towards your left knee. Hands and knees, the tabletop position. We'll stay there for about 30 to 40 seconds. Not too long. Hands and knees looks like this. Hands underneath of the shoulders, take some weight. Knees underneath of the hips, take some weight. Tuck your toes under, point your toes back. And so we'll change the feet as well. Tuck the toes, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, go the other way. Point the toes, round your spine. Push down through your arms, stretch your back. Inhale, happy cat. Toes tuck, belly drops, gaze up. Exhale, scared cat, round your spine. Inhale, hook your toes, belly drops. Happy cat. Last one, round your spine. Inhale, neutral. Neutral spine. Good. Shake out your right hand. A three-legged dog. Shake out your left hand. That's a challenge in its own right. I try to shake out your right leg. That's hard, hard business. Come in, hands and knees. Shake out your left leg. Rest. Back towards child's pose. Careful, this is a knee stretch. A shin and a quad stretch. You might not rest your seat so far back. Anywhere in here is fine, so long as you're aiming the seat towards the feet. Listen to your body. If there's no strain, you might settle in a little bit more. Good. 
hands and knees, please. Rise up to the tabletop. Tuck the toes once more and lift the knees for downward facing dog. We'll return to this all fours in just a second. Well, just a moment or two. Inhale, prepare. As you exhale, toes are tucked already. Lift the knees and send your seat up and back away from your hands. Relax your neck and look back between your legs. Continue to breathe. Pedal your feet a few times. Good. Take it easy. Knees to the ground. And child's pose. Rest your seat back. Last one. Inhale, hands and knees. Tuck the toes. As you exhale, lift your seat high. Knees off the floor. Seat up and back, away from the hands. Hands and knees, please. Bring the knees back down and inhale. Point the toes back and gently. Send your seat as far back as it wants to go. Be nice to your hips. Be nice to your knees. Again, rise, hands and knees. Close your knees to one side or the other and sit on to your hip. Good. Try to get more comfortable here on just the one hip. Can you get off of your left hand? Now, it doesn't have to be your left side on the ground, but the opposite arm comes across your lap. The side you're sitting on, left in my case, that arm comes overhead. And it's side stretch once more. You can flourish by turning your chin and nose up. Good. Careful now. Left arm down. Other side. Sitting on the right hip. Right hand to the ground. We want to get the right arm overhead, if you can. Left arm across your lap. Right arm. Over. Tricky one. Breathe in. Settle in. Take it easy. Rest. Right hand back to the ground. Lie on back. Take your time. As you roll on down, relax to the back of your neck. And rest your lower back as well. So lightly, float your legs up towards the sky. Lift your head and shoulders up off the floor. Reach your arms forward. Inhale, rest a little down. Exhale, a little higher. Inhale, little rest. Exhale up. Inhale, down. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Rest head and shoulders down. Stand your feet to the ground in front of your seat. Lift your seat. The bridge pose. Tuck your chin in. Try to get more weight in your shoulders. As the upper back might even come off the ground here a little. Now, reach your arms up. Roll down your spine, 
nice and slow. Open your arms to a T. Sling your right ankle up to your left knee. Left knee falls away from you and your gaze. Gaze to the right as your figure four shape falls to the left. Stack your knees and ankles. Relax both legs more. Even if your shape goes a little more sloppy. Relax. And then take control. Stand your feet to the ground. Nose up, knees up. Sling left ankle up to right knee. Bring your right knee to the right. And then turn your face away from your legs. Face left. right foot. Relax both legs though. And allow for change. Your bones might move as your muscles soften. Knees up, nose up. Open your feet as wide as your mat. Turn your toes inward and allow your knees to fall towards each other. Knock knees. Feet about as wide as your mat. Knees fall towards each other as if to kiss. your feet together. Open your knees to the side. Butterfly. If it strains your hips, you might try sending the ankles more forward. Be gentle here. No strain. Extend both legs long. Bring your hands down by your hips. Nose up towards the ceiling. Run your attention through your body. Relaxing as you do. Heel, feet, ankles, shins and calves. 
and relax them. Feel knees, hips, thighs, the pelvis, the muscles there, your glutes. Relax. Feel hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, and relax them. Relax upper arm, shoulders, collarbone, shoulder blades the back of your neck, your upper back, your shoulder blade, relax, your upper back and shoulders, your middle back, lower back, side ribs, the sides of your waist. Relax the abdominal muscles through the chest and the rib cage. Up through the throat. Relax your face, jaw, tongue, temples. Feeling your body, releasing tension, relax, now roll to your favorite side, take your time, wakey wakey, as you roll to your favorite side, push up to seated. Find your legs crossed if that's comfortable. Any other seated position will do. Float your arms high. And find your center. And thank you. Thank you for your time and attention. May you have a happy holidays. A happy and blessed new year. We'll see you soon. We hope.